New York Times refuses to label Hamas as terrorists. So why does the paper of record seem to love this group? Or is it just that one incident and that one policy? Steve Emerson is the executive director of the Investigative Project and Terrorism, and it contributed to the DailyBeast.com. Steve, what do you mean they like Hamas? New York Times has a love affair with Hamas? Uh, yeah, it's, it's platonic. It's not romantic. Um, but I've studied and, and looked at the years, last year's worth of, of stories relating to the Middle East, particularly the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, and consistently the Times has suppressed any story that would portray Israel sympathetically and on the other hand has uh, written dozens of stories portraying the Palestinians sympathetically. For example, uh, they had a story just several months ago about how uh, the uh, Hamas held a mass wedding for all these lovebirds, these uh, lovebird suicide bombers who couldn't get married. It was like an e-harmony style wedding uh, <laughs> and uh, it would be like equivalent to portraying an Al-Qaeda or, you know, or an Al-Qaeda no wedding uh, date. Steve, no word about the rockets, right? Just about the mass marriage. Oh, no word about anything else, just about the lovebirds, you know. You, you know, I found them even lovable. Uh, I'm talking about the female suicide bombers, not the male suicide bombers. Um, and, and also, the New York Times consistently uh, equates the uh, Hamas rockets launched on Israel with uh, the Israeli blockade. When the New York Times itself reported three days after the truce in June that Hamas broke the uh, truce by firing rockets against Israel. You see this consistently over and right. over and over again. And you can't come to but one con conclusion that they are in favor of Hamas. Hey, let me tell you what the New York Times says. And, and you have more examples on the DailyBeast.com. You get into detail. They say, quote, our general view is that the world terrorist is politically loaded and overused. The word terrorist is politically loaded and overused. But when a person's act has been examined and its intent and result clearly understood, we call him a terrorist. Is it now do you understand? Yes, sort of, right. I mean, it's gobbledygook for saying uh, we are politically correct and we're not going to label Hamas a terrorist group. They label right. the ETA a terrorist group, the IRA, the German uh, Red Army, uh, the, the Red Brigades. Everyone else is a terrorist group except Hamas. They say they need to study it. Right. Hamas has been around for 21 years, killed or wounded right. 5,000 people.